India is focused now on launching an intensive, multi-pronged diplomatic offensive to isolate Pakistan. That's what highly placed sources have told CNBC TV18 that the government is now channelizing its efforts to ensure that Pakistan takes demonstrable action against terror groups in the coming days. Parikshit Luthra broke that story and joins in with more details. Parikshit, how does India take a plan to take steps to isolate Pakistan now? Well, uh, sources telling us that uh, the military offensive is now over. We wanted to target those uh, terror camps in Balakot, Pakistan. We've done that. And since that, our focus has been on creating international pressure on Pakistan. Uh, sources also telling us that this pressure worked when it came to the release of Wing Commander Abhinandan. We met envoys of all the P5 countries. There were conversations at the highest level uh, between uh, governments of Singapore and India, governments of Saudi Arabia, US, UK as well. This was at multiple levels from the NSA to the foreign minister to the prime minister. And in every conversation, the Indian government made the point that Abhinandan cannot be a pawn. He cannot be a negotiating card and he must be released unconditionally. And it is that pressure which finally worked up leading to the release of Wing Commander Abhinandan. Uh, so this is also adding that there is a lot of uh, propaganda on the part of uh, Pakistan. Some rumors that are being put out, a misinformation campaign that has been launched to divert attention from the issue of terror. Uh, namely, by saying that uh, there is a submarine near Pakistani waters, Indian assets are moving towards Pakistan. Uh, also saying that two jets were down, one Sukhoi was also down by, uh, is by Pakistani forces. Israel and India were planning joint strikes uh, uh, against Pakistan. All of these are being done to... Uh, really uh, divert the attention of the international community. So India wants to bust that lie. We are going to uh, all the P5 uh, countries and the larger international community through our envoys, giving them evidence about Pakistan's complicity in the Pulwama attack, the role of the Jaish e Mohammed, and uh, every effort is to make sure Pakistan is held accountable. At the same time, India is saying that uh, recent interviews of Shah Mahmood Qureshi in the media, where he says that Pakistani soil will never be used for terrorism, uh, India is saying that those words cannot be taken at face value because they've been said by Musharraf as well in the past, and therefore it's high time that Pakistan showed action against Jaish e Mohammed. And whatever action that we've seen in the last few days against the Falai in Saniyad or the JEM or even claims that uh, Maulana Masood Azhar is sick, they all have to be taken with a pinch of salt. Uh, the immediate campaign would be to blacklist Maulana Masood Azhar at the UN 1267 committee. We are uh, lobbying hard with all the P5, uh, P5 countries and we are hoping by the 13th of March there is some positive news on his blacklisting. Back to you.